Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video, and I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. So I know you guys have been asking me, you know, how I've been and checking up on me, and I definitely want to say thank you to those of you who have been texting me, Facebook messaging me, DMing me on Instagram. I truly, truly appreciate you, and um, thank you for your prayers. I am making a sit down video, as you can see. Um, I believe this video will go up on Saturday. So the previous, not the previous, but the next coming videos you're going to see are all going to be shot from like above, if that makes sense, because my toe. So yeah, I decided to come on and make these sit down videos because I have a lot of books here that I need to put away and I'm not supposed to be doing much of anything, but sitting in my bed kind of sucks all day. Um, I have my shoe on right now, and it's, there's no pain, but every now and then there's pain. And because I have a toddler, you know, healing a broken bone with a toddler just doesn't work. But anyways, it's super hot. Like, I mean, hot right now. Um, so I'm drinking yet again this. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you know I'm obsessed with these um, since I found them. I've had two of these so far today. I don't have that many left, um, but it's the Unicorn Frappe. It's from the company called Frozen Bean Frappe. You can find these at Walmart. They're really, really good. You can get them on Amazon. Walmart is better, though, if you can find them. But, um, oh, my God. It's, it's First of all, it's blue and pretty, and I have it in the pink Daughter of Increase mug. Um, but, yeah, it's so really pretty. Like, it's blue, and then there are sprinkles in it, so... It's just a fun summer drink. But, um, book haul. July? No, June. <laughs> June book haul. Um, some of these books I have received for this month and I don't care. I don't remember when I got them. So I'm just going to include them in June's book haul. But, um, the first few items are items that I purchased myself and then we'll get into review items. So the first item I have is this Prayers to Share 100 Pass Along Bible Promises by Shannon Noel. I hauled the previous one last month, I believe which is this one which is um for joy but then i saw that they had this one and she is uh, she's the creator of dayspring i think or she works with dayspring one or the other so i figured it would be great to have these like i said with this one i want to be able to put these in packages um give my little my friends from church like notes and stuff like that so i got another one for that which i'm excited about so we have that then i have these two books here from this uh he's a pastor oh yeah his, he's a pastor, okay. And he's from Tulsa, Oklahoma, which is insane because that's where um, Pastor Michael Todd is. But um, his name is Bob Yandon. And this is his image here. I will leave a link to his YouTube channel you guys should check out. But we heard him speak at a conference. It was a leaders conference. And he was speaking to all the leaders. And he had a lot of his books for sale for like 10 bucks. So I snagged up two of them. Um, this one is Leadership Secrets of David the King. And this one is calling and separation. And the way he described them during the service um, and when he spoke at the service was just so phenomenal, 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 phenomenal. So I got both of them. I can't wait to dive into them. They're really small books, not too long. Um, less than 100 pages, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So I'm really excited to get into the calling and separation one because, mm, yeah. But I also want to know about leadership from King David. So we have those. The next book I got is from a pastor that works with my church. Um, and when we were at the actual Leader Serve Conference where I was talking about Bob Yandon's book, um, the pastor of the actual church that was hosting the conference released his book. And it's called Serving the Spirit of Greatness by Williams Shelders, Pastor William Shelders. Um, and he's a really phenomenal pastor. Um, I see him on Sundays. This is what he looks like right here. He is the pastor of Love Legacy in the Bronx, New York. And, um, yeah, I wanted to just grab his book. It really just sounded like something I really wanted to read, especially with me um, elevating within ministry. I just thought these books would be beneficial for me to read. And they're from people that I've met and know and supported. So we have that. The next two books are going to be Bible studies, and normally I get these Bible studies from the actual publisher for free, but I didn't want to wait, and I wanted them right away, so I ordered them off of Amazon. They were less than $10, so the first one is called On Bended Knee by Cricket 
Keith, Keith, Cricket, Keith. I don't know how if that's how you say it, right? But yeah, this one. And this one is Praying Like Prophets, Warriors, and Kings. It's an eight-week Bible study. And this is actually what I have on my phone as my lock screen. So yeah, we have that. And I am excited to dive into this Bible study. I'm like, I love Moody Publishers Bible study. So we have this one. The next one I have is by Erica Wiggenhorn, and this is Unexplainable Jesus. It's an eight-week study on the Gospel of Luke. And she also has other ones, which are the Unexplainable Life and the Unexplainable Church. I haven't really gotten into those in depth yet, but I do have them on my bookshelf. So now I have these two to add to all of my Moody Publisher Bible studies. And I was waiting for these two to come out before I did a full collection of those because a lot of you guys are interested in knowing more about their Bible studies. I literally own all of their women's Bible studies. Uh, literally all of them um and there's two more bible studies i'm interested in getting um but those i'll probably feature in another video but on to review books now so the first two books are children's books um because i have a son so this one is who will play with me by randall good game randall good game illustrated by Corey jones and it's slugs and bugs um my son he likes watching oh my god what is the name of the show larva on netflix and he just likes watching anything about like bugs He's a boy, so it interests him, and I was like, why not get this? It's really simple. He is going into uh, kindergarten, so, you know, it'd be interesting for him just to have this and something he'll enjoy, you know? And it's not something hard that, you know, he can read. It's really simple, and it'll help him get um, used to actually reading full sentences. So I got that. And then I got this, and I actually got two of these. They sent me one, and then I purchased one because... It just is it's cool. So um, this is a graphic novel on the Bible, and it's called Epic, the story that changed the world. And this is a graphic novel, comic book, whatever you want to call it, but it's based off of the Bible, and it's so freaking cool. My son loves it. He loves looking through it. Like I said, I have one, and he has one. This is my copy. If I'm not mistaken, I believe this one is my copy. But um, yeah, you got the table of contents, and it's literally just the bible in graphic novel comic book form and i think that's just so cool so, i wanted one for myself because i'm a big kid yeah next two books i got from waterbrook and mount noma this first one was sent to me for a blog uh not a blog but like an instagram takeover tour that i do um and it is no ocean no ocean too wide by carrie Terensky, Terensky. She is the author of Across the Blue. And yeah, it's Christian fiction. Or at least that's what it's classified as. It's historical fiction, but um, for some reason it's, this pops up as like Christian fiction as well. So we have that. The next book I got is from B&H Books, and I only got one from them, and it's going to be Not Forsaken by Louis Giglio. I absolutely adore his writing. I read his book, what is it called, Goliath Must Fall. I did the study, and I read the book so, so good, so amazing. So I'm excited for Not Forsaken. I do want to get the Bible study booklet to go with this, um, just because I think it's cool. I actually need to purchase Goliath Must Fall because I don't have a physical copy of it. I have an ebook copy of it, but I have the physical copy of the study guide, so yeah. We have this. I don't know what it's about. It says, you are chosen, loved, prized, wanted, believed in by a perfect father. Basically, it's just about you not being forsaken and you being invited to be his child. No, it says, he's inviting you to walk in freedom as his loved son or daughter. So, I'm hoping this is just as good as Goliath Must Fall. The next book is called Exhale and it's by Amy Carroll and Cherry... Gregory is lose who you're not, love who you are, live your one life well. This is from Bethany House as well. I don't know much about it. I requested it and then I sat it down and never looked at it again. The last book I have is by Brittany Rust and it is Here I Am, Responding When God Calls Your Name and Oh My God. This is something I, I knew that I needed because a lot of the times, you guys are probably going to look at me looking crazy, but I know this happened with Saul, not Saul, Samuel. Samuel. This happened with Samuel, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but he was being called constantly by God, and he always thought it was, like, somebody else calling him. And uh, that has happened to me before, where I would literally audibly hear someone calling my name and um, thinking it was my mother or my son. And I'll be like, yeah, what do you want? And they'll tell me that's not me, and I'm just like, okay. Then I start remembering the story of Samuel and how he heard the Holy Spirit calling his name, but he didn't know. 
and um I just I just knew this was something that I, I needed to be and it's really thin it's not that large um I think it's less than 200 pages yep less than 200 pages about 180 something so I definitely want to get into this really really soon it's a, probably should be a quick read hopefully so we have that so those are all of the books that I got for June I do have some books for July already sitting here next to me I have three right now sitting next to me um, I'm not sure if I will have any more just because I haven't really requested a lot of things for this month. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this book haul. I hope you guys found some new books to read if you are interested in reading them. <laughs> um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!